Hey guys, I wanted to take a minute and clear up the whole foot first versus beak first stepping up with Morgan. Obviously she has a left foot defect which causes her some serious imbalance just in general in her life. So to make it easier on herself, she normally puts her beak down first to stabilize herself and then she steps up that way. However, I don't want her to do that. And the reason that I don't want her to do that is because it hasn't been working for her in the past so we need to change that. And the way to do that is through training and communication because training basically just helps you guys speak the same language. So it makes it so that <clears throat> I can clearly communicate to Morgan and she can clearly communicate to me. There's no misunderstandings. When a bird goes beak first, that opens the entire room for tons of misunderstandings. So she could just simply use it to balance easier place it on you, not hurt you, and step up nicely. She could do that, or she could bite you, or she could nip you, or pinch you, or she could use it for balance, but in the essence of the whole thing, maybe lose her balance and end up biting you on accident. And these sort of scenarios go differently with every single person. So if a person gets nervous, that it's a 50-50 or even less than chance that they might get hurt during the initial step up, it's more likely that it's gonna go wrong because they're nervous it's gonna go wrong, if that makes sense. So what I wanna teach Morgan and what I've been working towards is teaching her to put her foot up. I want her foot first. I do not want her beak on me first. I want her foot first. And a lot of you have just been like, you're just making it harder on her. Like, why not let her do what she wants to do? And it's because it's not working. It's because I'm creating a language and communication and I'm teaching her how to communicate with me as well. And this is just a hard limit with me. This is what I teach all my birds. So I'm gonna take a minute, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with my own parrots, what it means to go foot first. You can see the full intention is to step up. It's very clear communication. And you can see what that looks like. Then you're gonna see Morgan try, and she still tries to go beak first because that's what she's been conditioned to do. Um, and I'm really trying to morph that to only be foot first and that's gonna take some work because once she does even get it down with me It's gonna take getting it down with other people and having them stick to the same sort of thing So I'm gonna have you guys take a look at this. It's really really great. It's super clear I hope you can see the difference and um, Just understand where I'm coming from with trying to do this I'm simply trying to teach Morgan how to communicate with me and I am simply communicating with her so by the end of this, I am really hoping that she clearly sets her intention and if she wants to bite, it's beak first. If she wants to step up, it's foot first. Um, that's my thing, that's how I train all of my birds. I feel like it says everything that you need to know to be able to get a bird to either step onto you really easily or know that you're gonna get bit from a mile away. Morgan. Nope. Foot first. Good girl.